Hello, I'm Kate and welcome along to this video. I hope you're okay. Sending love to everyone. I hope you've had a nice week. So this is a charity shop haul. Everything you're about to see I found secondhand recently in my charity shops in Norfolk. So yeah, everything here is thrifted and I've got some beautiful dresses to show you and some lovely little items some little gifty things that might be gifts to myself and the most beautiful hand painted gin glass i i ever i ever i i it's I've, I've ever seen it's really lovely before i get into the bargains i'm going to do my mug of the day and you might have seen this in last week's poundland haul so it's from poundland um and it's really cute isn't it it says choose happy mug of the day i've got a fruit tea it's gone a bit cold so i'll probably have some of that at the end and i'm going to start off with shall i show you the clothes first clothes first or bits first that sounds a bit rude but you know what i mean like the little things what did you, what you said bits you want to see the things i hope i got that right okay i'll show you the things first and then i will get onto the clothes so i'm going to start off with this little gift set thing so this is obviously an unwanted gift that I really like the look of and it's Giovanna Fletcher who's a lovely woman isn't she very nice lady and this is a warm and fuzzy well that's what it says warm and fuzzy travel mug and knitted gloves this was at three pounds which I thought was a really good price and I'm actually gonna keep this for myself I think it's just I love that little travel mug it's nice isn't it so I thought I'm gonna get that for myself and it's got touch screen gloves which is good because I had a pair of those and then they stop working. So hopefully these ones will work. And then when it's cold and I'm watching football, because it's been chilly recently, I don't have to, uh, you know, take my gloves off to take a picture or something when I'm, you know, watching Toby play football or when I'm out in real life. So yeah, touchscreen gloves and a travel mug. I'm going to open it up. It, feels, it seems a shame, doesn't it? Because the packaging's really lovely. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get in. I'm going to get into it. Uh, so I don't know when when this was out it could be last christmas or before or it could be a few years old so what's that oh i don't know just a bit of a bit of cardboard so i'll just put that there and there we go that's the travel mug i do love a travel mug and then some gloves so little touch screen gloves oh they're stuck to the oh they're stuck to that i can't get them out but they're just great gloves and they're very nice i'll just put that down there so a really cute little travel cup that i shall use hello hello so there we go and then i got a couple of books i got this book then she was gone by lisa jewell her books are brilliant i've read quite a few recently and they're so good they keep me hooked all the way through and i really enjoy getting into a, a good book and um so i thought this is you know it's got to be good isn't it a missing girl a buried secret then she was gone by lisa jewell so yeah, that was one pound. Can't remember where that was from, but yeah, it looks like a very good book. So I'll just put that there. I've got another book and this one was a bit controversial at the time. Do you remember this? A few years ago, I think when I first started doing YouTube and I had no idea about anything and then everyone was kind of going on about this book. Was it this book? Oh no, it was the advent calendar and then this book. Um, so I remember this book people were like a bit mean about because they said, I don't know, they said, oh, you're teaching us how to make a, a sandwich or something. But I, I can't really remember. But I remember sort of, oh, the book was launched and there was some people were a bit mean about it. And I thought I would get it because it looked lovely. I haven't actually seen it in any real shops. I just saw it the other day in my charity shop and it was pound fifty. I do love a book like this. It's almost like a magazine. I've said this before when I've bought gardening books. Rather than buying magazines, you can get so much information from this kind of book. And obviously it's, it's Zoe Sugg, so it's going to be useful. The pictures are going to be gorgeous. It's Quarterly Invited, a seasonal guide to hosting any occasion and making a memory out of every day. So I thought it'd be, oh, she signed, she, she signed it. Zoella signed it. Does that make it worth a million pounds? Is, are you worth a million pounds now? It's good, isn't it? She's had a little pen and paper here. Hello, Zoella. Um, so yeah, so it's signed, which is great. And then I can make some American pancakes. There's recipes in here. Let me know if you actually have this book. Did you buy it new or have you found it secondhand? Some um, pumpkin cupcakes. So every season, which is great because I do like styling up all the different seasons and different occasions on Instagram and stuff. So I bet there's some things in here that will help me. So let's have a look in the spring. 
spring section smoothies. We've got parties. We've got um, uh, something else. We've got Bluebell Walk. Oh, I think I remember someone saying, telling us how to go for a walk or something like that. Do you, do you remember any of that stuff? For some reason I do. I don't know why I remember that. Oh, it says here, sandwiches and flasks with hot drinks. Um, do this. I just think this would be a lovely little book. Oh, look, flower arranging. Yeah, see, things like this. That's so pretty as well, so I'm gonna really enjoy this. Right, I'm on to, what have I got next? Oh, a little gift set. So I don't know whether to keep this or give it away. I think I'm gonna keep it actually because I do need some, well, it's got body wash and body lotion in. I never end up using in these like gift sets, I never end up using the body lotions. Do you know what I mean? I um, It's always the body washes and I have lots of body lotions because they're never that good. I always find them a bit thin, so I like using um, a better, more moisturising moisturiser, if that makes any sense. But this was £3.49 for this Laura Ashley gift set. So yeah, I might end up using this one. Well, I, I could give it away as a little present, but I think this is wild blossom. I mean, how am I going to find wild blossom toiletries again? Maybe not. So maybe I shall keep this. Um, so body wash, the fragrance mist in the middle, and then the body lotion. And I'll probably donate that one to charity because I, I won't end up using it. It's nice though, isn't it? I do love finding things like this in charity shops. Um, and then obviously you can, you're just reusing things that are there and you don't have to buy as many toiletries. And then I bought this um, Rain Mac. I did find one quite similar. It's a Kath Kidson Rain Mac. I love this print, this like dipsy print. I think I had a bag in this actually. And I bought a Kath Kidson Rain Mac. It had cherries on and it was too small for me. So I had to actually, I redonated that, which was a shame, but it just didn't fit. I was like, it's not gonna fit. I've had it for a few years. So I saw this the other day, this is a size 12. So it's Kath Kidson, as you can see there, like the original Kath Kidson print, it's a size medium. And this one fits, it's lovely. I think the other one was a small or an extra small, and I was just being a bit hopeful. But it's got a little zip here, so you just chuck it on. And that'd be perfect for like, you know, the April showers and if you get caught in a little rain storm. It's not a rainstorm, if you get caught in the rain, I can chuck this on rather than wearing a massive coat. So yeah, I'll keep that in my car. It's sweet, isn't it? It's got a little hood. Yeah, I do love that, that pattern. I had a wash bag actually, and I still have a wash bag. It's under there in this same pretty pattern. So that was five pounds. And the last thing I want to show you before I get on to the lovely dresses is this look at this so i was shopping with my dad's wife and we were on the way out she found some lovely things as well and as we left she said oh look look at that little glass in there and i was like oh that is so beautiful so we had to go back in and i ended up buying this and i said oh did you did you want to get it and she said no because they're moving my dad is moving hopefully it all goes through he's going to be moving down south to be by the beach because he lives in wimbledon at the minute and they want to go like down by the beach. I said they should come up to Norfolk, but dad loves like the south coast. So um, they're going to be moving very soon, hopefully, fingers crossed. So she said she didn't want it because she's going to be moving house and she didn't have any room at the minute. So there we go. I got it. Isn't it beautiful? Look at those little um, ladybirds and daisies. So pretty. The maker's Lindsay Johnston or Johnstone hand painted gin glass. It is just beautiful. So yeah, it says, I think she's from, oh, I don't know. It just says something about D Dumfries and Galloway and then she, she moved to Devon. So yeah, really cute little gin glass. And that was, oh wow, £1.50. I thought that was gonna be about three pounds then. £1.50, how good is that? And it's glass and just gorgeous. So I'll take care of that. It's beautiful, you are beautiful. Right, I'm now onto my dresses, so I'll just grab them from over here. There's quite a few, and I was going to do a try-on haul. It's really cold, so it's been so nice. Well, the last sort of, the week before the week before, and then I was going to do a try-on. I thought, I'm, I'm too chilly, so I'm just going to show you everything, and then I'll do some pictures on Instagram. So I do apologise, it's not a try-on haul. Um, I did want to do one, then I just thought, oh, I'm a bit cold. So I'm going to show you these, and then, yeah, I'll get some pictures over on Insta on my normal account, Kate McCabe account, and then 
I've got a house account as well called Kate's Georgian Home, so I'll link them below in case you want to have a look. But I've got some beautiful dresses, and like I said in last week's video, now is the time to go and have a look for your summer dresses because they've got so many nice ones in, and not everyone is looking for them at the minute, so you can find some like amazing things. This one was from Cancer Research UK, it's M and Co. It was three quid, and I think it's a size 12. It's really pretty, it's got like a pleated pattern here, if you can see, and it's cotton or linen. I think it's cotton i'll have a little look in a second and it's white with blue and little bits of kind of peaching as you can see there and there's a zip down the side so it goes in here and then flares out and it's lined as well and i think it's just past the knee so this is a really comfortable one it's got a little um like tie waist as well i do love it where they're lined and when they're just past the knee because they're just really nice to wear and you feel quite comfortable in these so that's the first dress as you can see there, it's really lovely, isn't it? Really simple, but very pretty. And this one is kind of similar, but it's a bit of a different neckline. So this is more for when we go on holiday. We've booked a holiday and we're going to go away in July for a couple of weeks. So I can't wait. We're going to go to Greece. And I thought, well, I'll keep my eye out for some summer dresses so I can have a new but secondhand wardrobe. Um, and this is just really pretty, isn't it? So it's got little, um, lovely little sequiny detail all over it. A little bit around the waist. And then it flares out as well. This is also lined. So this is knee length. Can you see it there? And it's got a nice elasticated back and then a tie. That was also three pounds from Cancer Research. And the make is red herring. And that is a size 12. So yeah, and they fit really nicely. I have tried them on when I first got them. So yeah, I really like that. So nice. And three quid is brilliant, isn't it? There's a massive Cancer Research on our like shopping retail park thing and it's great for dresses i found loads recently and then how lovely is this this is more of like a, a cover-uppy type thing and it fits again fits really nicely it's really flattering on i thought it wouldn't be because the straps are quite thin but it's nice on and this was from this was a real bargain actually so this is new look petite oh got the hanger in the way there new look petite and it was age uk we've got the um like the clearance shop so if it doesn't sell another age uk it goes to the great yarmouth one and they're one pound 79 so it was 4.49 and then in our shop it was one pound 79 i just think it's really nice it's lovely on it's got this tie sort of front here and then a bit of an elasticated back and i love that i love the color so i'm looking forward to wearing that one and then i've got a really simple um kind of a cover up -y dress for to go for a swimsuit it's nice and soft um kind of jersey material and it says oh it says oh it's brand new which is always exciting when you get stuff brand new from the charity shop so this was i saw it first so four pounds 49 for that one and yeah size 12 i saw it first is that like a like boohoo and that kind of thing ASOS, ASOS, is that kind of similar? But it's really cute, it goes in and then flares out and it's got kind of a tear thing here. Pretty pattern though, isn't it? That's nice on as well. It's not something I'd wear like day to day, but this is something I'd wear over a swimsuit when you're like walking around or down to the beach or something. I love that like blue and pale blue and white. It's really pretty, isn't it? Lovely colours. So that's that dress. And then this one is gorgeous i thought it could be kath kidson or some kind of vintagey or what's that make not jolie what's it called Joni. i thought it might be Joni, um but it's not it's just sainsbury's it's tu sainsbury's and it's got little beach umbrellas on as you can see they're blue and green i didn't actually know there were umbrellas till i got it home i thought they were flowers not oh, that's pretty but it's little beach umbrellas all over it and it goes in here and then it flares out so it probably looks, it looks quite a bit big there, but it's not. It fits really nicely. I think it's a 12, or is it a 14? That was size 12. That was £3 from TU. As you can see there, it's lined. I love the neckline. It's really flattering. I like these thick straps. Um, and I would wear this in the summer here and then when we go on holiday. It's lovely. Can you see it there? So it's just past knee length, but it flares out really nicely. And it's lined as well. So summery, isn't it? And pretty, the little umbrella. So yeah, that was three pounds as well. And I've got two more left. So two more dresses to show you. This is gorgeous. And this is a sea salt dress, which is a really good make, isn't it? So it's always, it's, what? It's always exciting when you find 
you know, sea salt or, I don't know, white company or like really posh little makes and charity shops because you know it's going to be really good quality. So this is, yeah, sea salt size 14 from Sue Rider and that was also £3. So some real bargain dresses in this video and I've made lots of room in my um, wardrobes to put them in so I had a bit of a declutter and got rid of some big jumpers and things I didn't need anymore and so I can bring in some new dresses which is good but this one's really pretty with little are they roses I think they're little flowers really pretty navy blue it's lined again and then it goes in at the waist it's got a couple of like gathery bits if you can see them and then there is a little tie as well so I could use that and it just pulls in the waist a bit more and that flares out and that is kind of past the knee, quite a bit past the knee, so about this much. So it's a really flattering shape and the cap sleeves are nice as well. So I love that. That is one I can just chuck on and wear anywhere really because it's just for comfortable and flattering and covers me up quite a lot while still being, while still being really um, pretty. So that lovely dress there, uh, three pounds from Sue Ryder. And then my final dress was a bit of a gamble. I saw it and thought, oh, I don't know. And then it's really nice on. So I'm really glad I did actually get it. It's from Next. I think it's quite an old dress. It's not like new Next, I don't think. And this was also from Age UK. So it's a size 12, Age UK, and great yarn with £1.79. And it's gray with this sort of black stuff on. Um, and it looks much nicer on than it does here because I thought it's kind of like cobwebs and I was like oh a bit weird but it is actually really nice on it's got pockets as well which are here and it's kind of jersey material with a big stretchy waist so it goes in really nicely and then it just it sort of doesn't flare out but it doesn't cling to anything so it's quite flattering and then it goes down kind of past the knee just past the knee so I could wear this either with tights and boots like for winter or you know if it's chilly or I can wear this, put some flip-flops on, some little, yeah, it's probably just flip-flops actually with this three-quarter length little sleeves. And there's some, oh yeah, little buttons there. I think are quite cute, if you can see them. So I really like that and brilliant for £1.79, but I do have to wear something underneath this because it's a bit see-through. The, um, the top bit and the bottom bit actually, or is it more the top bit? Can you see me? It's quite see-through, if I hold up to the lobs, very see-through. Not that you can see that, but I can I can see through it. Um, and the top is really sheer. So I've got like this thing to go underneath it, one of those slip things. So no one will be able to see my bra or my legs bum shape through the through the um the light. I always do worry about that when you wear a dress and then if you don't have anything underneath it, it shines through and you can just see your legs. Ah, oh, you know, and they like light up. So I do worry about that. So I'll put something on underneath. But that is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your favourite item. Pop it in the comments below. What do I like? I love. I really love this. This is just beautiful. This is so lovely. And what do I love? What else do I love? A Kath Kidson raincoat I really like. And I think my favourite dress is the beach umbrellas. I think that's probably my favourite Um dress out of everything I love it and I love the sea salt one but and that like ready one so nice on so let me know your favorite item put it down there and come over to Instagram as well if you're not already following me on there I'm Kate McCabe and my house account is Kate's Homely Home I'll link them below and I'll also sorry Bessie's just walking by I'll also link um he's the cat my um recent videos that I filmed lately so I've got a pound and one from last week and then before that was a mixed haul so I've got charity shop things I've got TK Maxx bargains Poundland, and what else is there I don't know just some other bits and bobs oh the works I've got some things from the works as well so I'll link those below and I'll speak to you next week I think I've got a cherries haul for next week so a big cherries haul full of kind of home essentials and, and bargains as well. So that'll be here at two o'clock, but have a lovely weekend and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.